What's up, y'all? It's your boy Shane the Man coming to y'all another video. And it's probably going to be the realest video I ever made. Um, it's basically about why I'm anti social. So, to start things off, if we go back in the beginning, uh, I'll say a little bit towards last year, you know what I mean? Uh, I had two close friends, right? And. We was kicking it, like, for real, for real. We was kicking it, for real, for real. One, I've known since I was 16. The other, I've known since I was in the fifth grade. And uh, basically, like, uh, some things happened to uh, give them, you know, the actions that they did towards the end of 2023 affected them in 2024. So beginning of 2024, one of my close friends got 30 years in prison, and the other one got some years and change in jail. And uh, ever since they've been locked up, life just hasn't been the same. And I feel like I've been antisocial because, like, since they were my two closest friends, everybody that they, that they talked to, I used to hang around a little bit. Like, you know, I don't really talk to them like that. So, like, we just talk here and there. But for the most part, we're really just associates, if you would think about it. But, like, I'm antisocial because, like, I just feel like people are weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't know what somebody's intentions are anymore. You don't think it's genuine. You know what I mean? You don't know if somebody really wants to mess with you because of you or because of what you got or what you got to offer. And like, I just haven't been like going out to places. I be feeling like I'm missing out on things and stuff like that, even though I'm trying to get my life together. And you know, like things haven't been financially the best, but you know, like if there's a will, there's a way. Sometimes you find yourself in the loop of the same thing. You know, you try A, B, and C, and nothing seems to work. But you got to keep trying, no matter what the cost, no matter what the case is. But, uh, yeah, I got one friend that's serving 30 years. I call him from prison, you know what I mean? We be talking, things like that. And it just really disappointed me, disappointed me, disappointed me because, like, what he's locked up for is, like, that's not him, you know what I mean? And to have somebody that you've known your whole life or most of your life, like, do some type of, like, criminal activity, right? And, like, you have to talk to them from a, a jail call, knowing that they don't, they deserve to be there for what they did, but as long as you've known them, they haven't been that kind of person. They've been nothing but great, you know, inspiring, you know what I mean? And then... What sucks is because my friend I know him since fifth grade, he got locked up and we left on bad terms. I'm not gonna lie, we left on bad terms. Like I said, he made me mad because he did some petty thing, some petty things. And so like I just said, man, freak you, I'm not gonna mess with you no more. But it sucks because like the way we ended things was just on some petty dumb stuff, you know what I mean? And you shouldn't lose a good friend over a dumb situation, like so pointless. And at the time, like, we had both went in, like, for this little play we was going to make. I ended up putting in $200. And so it didn't work out. Fast forward, you know, he owes me 200 And uh, he gave me the first 100 but I never got the second one. So I was on him about the second one. But at that time, he had just lost, like, a close relative towards him. And um, even though I got the first 100 and I was still on him about that second 100 it was like, damn, I could have been more sensitive and more mindful of what he was going through because he had just lost another relative. That's something I didn't know about. So it's like, it's really crazy. And going back to my other friend, I know him since, like, the one that got 30 years in prison, I know him since I was 16. He was 14. And we was on the same step team together for our church. And then we ended up going to high school together. And we have been through so much. And it just really sucks that he has to go and serve that time. But you know, like, karma always works in mysterious ways, you know what I mean? But you know, I've been trying to get closer with God. I've been praying a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you start to lose hope when nothing's going your way, but you just gotta keep it together. You gotta keep it together. And so like, I mean, it's not social, but like, it's not for like, it's for really a good reason though, because I'm really just trying to work on myself, you know, get my mind right, build myself as a man, because I'm only 23 years old, you know? I got a long life ahead of me. And um, 
I pray to God because, like, sometimes you just feel really alone. You feel like you're in it by yourself. Even when you try to reach out and talk to people, they don't even want to be bothered with you. But the man above is always there to talk to, you know what I mean? And I'm really just working on finding peace and happiness, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to live my life the way I want to, you know? Like, I want to be able to travel the world, experience things, you know what I mean? But, you know, it all just takes a little time. Just got to put in the work and the effort. But, yeah, you can't let something like, you can't let something like me, like, for example, me, right? My friends go into prison. I can't let that stop me. If you have anything traumatic that's happened in your life, just know it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Like, you just got to pray. You know, meditate if you have to. Right now, I'm trying to meditate. I'm trying to pray more. I'm trying to eat healthier. It starts with the mind, the body, and the soul. You know what I mean? And um, I've just really been on, like, a spiritual journey ever since then. Um, you know, being antisocial doesn't mean you're weird or anything like that. It just means, like, you want to be to yourself. And you just want to focus on yourself. And being around people, like, I like to hang around people. I used to be the most social person ever. Like, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, hey, bro, you want to go to a party? Let's go to a party. You want to go here? You want to go there? Like, I'm, I can still be that. It's just life be life sometimes, you know? You got to take a step back and focus on yourself. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got. I hope I was able to spit some knowledge and give you some words of encouragement and motivation. But you got this, bro. You got this. Just keep working. Manifest it. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. I really appreciate it. I'm up.